Do you want a more flexible way to look up a value from a list of values? We covered the VLOOKUP function in video number 4 and the MATCH and MIX functions in video number 27. Please visit our channel later on to watch these videos and refresh yourself on these functions. Today we'll show you how to use a different and powerful lookup function called the CHOOSE function using Excel 2016. Rod here and welcome to Burn to Learn. So what does the CHOOSE function do? It allows you to look up a value from a list of from 1 to 254 values based on its position in an index. Let's see it in action using this table of several items and the sales of each per month. Write the following in cell G4. An equal sign plus the word choose with an open parentheses. Now write the number of the index position of the value. Let's, uh, let's write the number 3. Now write or select the cells where Excel will look up the information. That means writing or selecting each cell one by one each followed by a comma. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter and you can see Excel has found the value of the item in position number 3. Now let's set up the choose function so that results appear automatically. But before showing you how to do that, we ask that you please remember to like this video and leave a comment after watching. To begin, place your cursor in cell H8. We're going to look up the item again, but this time without writing an index number. Instead, we're going to select the cell where the index will be changed automatically. First, repeat the steps in the formula beginning with an equal sign plus the word choose with an open parentheses. After completing the steps, press enter. As you can see this time, you get an error message asking for a value. This happened because cell G8 is empty and Excel cannot recognize a value outside of the numbers in the index. In this index, it cannot recognize a value less than 1 or greater than 10. To fix this, we first use an IF error in the beginning of the formula as follows. Just write a word IF error with an open parenthesis. Now place a comma on the end of the formula. Then write whatever text in quotation marks you want to appear if the error happens. For example, you could write does not exist quotation mark. Then type a close parentheses and press enter and now you can select whatever index number you want and the item will appear automatically. And if Excel doesn't recognize the number you write, you'll know because the phrase you selected will appear continue to appear. Now we will use the VLOOKUP function to complete the monthly sales part of our table in cell I8. First, write an equal sign plus the word VLOOKUP with an open parentheses. Then select cell H8. Now select the range from C5 through D14. Then press F4 anchoring this information. Now type the number 2 to identify the column where Excel should look. Then type a zero to tell Excel you want an exact match. Then type a close parenthesis and press enter. And as you can see, you now get the monthly sales figures for the item selected. Now you know how to use another lookup function called the choose function. Please tell us you liked this video. Share it with your friends and leave a comment. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and receive our next video on XL 2016. Thanks so much for watching.